night was still and quiet on the farm. No one ever comes down here. Not since they stopped repairing the bridge. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling... This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once you start to see things... I wonder what he meant by that. Forgotten Forest Trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. Perfect. Just as I'm about to The good folks at Arthurton Power and Light were not. Of course, this was the very... It looked like Jenny had reached. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comfort. I'd rather plummet to my death. It was a terrifying drop to the rocks. Surely she wasn't contemplating. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the math. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Taking into account the strong tail and factoring in my athletic prowess, I could make that jump two out of three times. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe the odds weren't so good. And now she was dangling from a splintered plank one slip away from... It's just like climbing a tree! Just don't look down. Don't look down. Was this the end for our tiny hero? As her spindly muscles began to give way, her mother, dangling from a ledge. How could she possibly save her family? I can't give up now. Mom needs me. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers? It's too late to turn back now. It might have been her recent brush with death, but... That's not my heart. That's... CJ's compass! The needle is shaking like crazy. To? Jenny paused for a moment. It was quiet, but distinct. A constant... Man-made? But other than the sound it emitted, this rock was like any other in the forest. What's this? A 
another postcard piece. Curious. Something under there. Jenny had spent her whole childhood exploring. But I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's work. People don't see things they aren't looking for. She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow, it's a trap door. It's rusted up pretty badly. I can't move it. Strange device. The wires are connected to the door. metallic odor filled the air. It sure is dark down there. Too dark. But I can't just leave this unexplored. And so Jenny descended blindly into the unknown. Jenny the Clue had never found the town that once seemed a small lifeless pond was equal parts terrifying and intriguing. Incredible! Yes, an incredible mystery in her very own backyard. <laughs> Jenny wiped away a thick layer of... <coughs> Clearly the equipment had laid dormant for a long time. It's so futuristic. Straight Starship out of... Starship cadets and the... It feels... Alien. 
Now I'm starting to sound like CJ. But its purpose would remain a mystery. I'll just press all the buttons and see what happens. Oh dear. Turned the dials, she heard something hit. A voice! But what is he saying? It's a pattern. It keeps your animals and numbers. Animals and numbers. People in the future sure talk weird. Was it a cry for help? A shopping list? Whatever it is, it must be important. And so she transcribed it in her journal. There's something stuck to the bottom of the ladder. It was just a blank piece of paper. Or is it? Jenny traced her finger over. She felt the clear indent. I know exactly what to do. It worked. One, two, three. It was a code of some. The world's least secure code. Please enter authorization code. One, two, three. Four. Code accepted. System authorized and on for activation. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils, target rotation, phase harmonics, stabilized, stability, experiment engaged, module event facility. What's happening? Radioactive safety burning at 54. It says it's working. Remember, a healthy employee is please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break, decompressing spherical chamber. I should get out of here before my skin melts off. CJ said he saw a swarm of UFOs circling the Forgotten Fort. Was Jenny beginning to make sense of CJ's why? I'm gonna need a bucket of coffee to unpack all this. like much, but this tree house at once... I could never climb up there on my own. They schemed and planned and swore... Just thinking about him hurt. What was that? Steven! <laughs> Steven! What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. Something's out here. Something big. Real big. There's nothing there. But I'm getting some super spooky... For the last time, Kevin, the radio's off for emergencies only. That was lucky. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police. But she knew this... If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. My room. And 
and inside. My detective gear. The window looked a promising. I could climb the tree up onto the roof. But as Jenny knew, all the windows on the second. Dad did it after a raccoon got in and trashed the place. Jenny recalled the Christmas Eve when she had and discovered how difficult the jolly old and dirty. There's definitely a cleaner way in. Jenny could try to climb. But the... I already see an easier way in. That's Mom's room. Her window is bolted down. Just now, I think about it. That's a real fire hazard. It's tempting. But Jenny couldn't risk being. There's probably a sneakier way in. Not going in that way. What could the police? And if they found what they're looking for, why are they still here? The window was ajar. The frame. Somebody broke into my house. That's my job. But who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. Out of the police's line of sight. Except that window is locked, and all my lock-picking gear is in. Dang, they've got the back door covered too. I carved that jack-o'-lantern. How normal life had seemed. For a moment, she missed. There'll be plenty of time to carve pumpkins once I've saved my mom. To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep one false move, and the game would be up. Hey, who goes there? Caught. Jenny would have to think fast, or risk being jailed like her mother. Here goes nothing. Steven, please tell me. What's up, buddy? I think you should know. Spit it out already. There's a mountain lion out here. Very likely, they're indigenous to this area. What? Just don't let it eat you. Oh God. I think I'll just uh, head inside for a minute to. Uh, to, to Phew, that was close. Someone did Jenny enter the dark basement? It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. Jenny was in, undetected. Oh. What the heck? Who left this here? Jenny's father had never carried a briefcase, and her mother. Let's could... see who this belongs to. Who carries around a fancy briefcase with a chill? The hawk and the weasel. Jenny recognized the book. She'd seen a copy in the library. There must be something significant about it. It's written in a foreign language. Weird. Strange indeed. But surely it had a purpose that would become clear. Let's take a closer look. This feels familiar. Like I've seen it before. Wait, no. I've heard it before. On the radio in the underground lab. Could there be a connection between the cryptic? Let's find out. If I just follow the animals and numbers, I'm sure I can figure this out.
they will all listen. Relive their rancid past. The message read like a threat. But from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? Let me get this straight. Someone's broadcasting a sinister message which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned land. And the secret to decode this message is written in it which was locked inside a stranger's briefcase. All of this was true. That doesn't make it any less crazy. But not all mysteries could be solved. Sometimes questions had to percolate. Only then would the answer. I guess I'll let it brew for a bit. But right now, I need to get to my room and find my detective gear. Nothing. Just looking for more beer. Make yourselves at home, why don't you? Forget about it. There's more in the back. You better not eat my cookies. Jackpot. <laughs> they got. Hey, have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards, and suddenly you want to search them. Oh, those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Arthurton's finest, everyone. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom Which without- Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A veritable treasure trove. Surely something around here would- Maybe. But I can't what? shed some light on the situation. Of course the fuse is missing for the lights. The week after Jenny's father died, her mom boxed up his- Jenny had argued with her. It was like- But seeing them now, being reminded of him- Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality. The disorganized muddle of books for more reminders that her dad. Miss you, Dad. Mending the molecular bonds of marriage. Mom and Dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. This one test tube looks recently used. The other. A small puddle of liquid. Looks fresh, still sticky. A field guide to fat written by Weisfeld. Strasbury. Did the Dean write this book? This is a bad accident. Mom must have kept it. The Dean called the lab explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. inspections report. I've never seen this before. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there. The Dean signed the report. Someone had circled the signature in red He must have known that the lab was unsafe, but still let my dad work in there? October 5th. That was what- Her father's accident. Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything. But it was a clear motive for murder. Revenge. My mom wouldn't do that. But who else would see there it? There must be an explanation. I just don't know what it is yet. I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Was Jenny sure this was the right thing to do? It, why would she need to hide evidence if her mom was true? Mom isn't here to defend herself. It isn't fair. But however she tried to justify it. Jen I need to buy myself some time. I can't afford anyone jumping to conclusions before I've had a chance to investigate. Aha! The missing fuse. This was years ago. One of the rare times that Dad wasn't making a He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. I might, uh, need this later. And then there 
was like. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain. Who knows when they'll come back. Now, where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? I don't think Mom would have put her CSI equipment in any of these boxes. A shaft of light peaked. There's more stuff back there. I just need a way through. Jenny's instincts had been correct. Dozens There's of probably something useful here, but it'll take forever to search through them all. CSI supplies. That must be Mom's old gear. as good as mine, but at least it works. giant oversized glove. Mm, and it smells like mom. Her mother had never felt I so. won't let them take you away from me too. Jenny's search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit. For the first time in her life, she had a serious crime. And a seriously sharp outfit to match. <gasps> Somebody else is here. was no cop. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. Was Jenny ready to follow the mysterious man in black? The man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out.